Hey guys, in this Spark AR tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a filter like this, where just one color is visible and everything else is black and white. You can do this with any color you want. In this example, I choose red and yeah, I will show you everything step by step. And in the end, you will have a filter like this. So let's start. Hey again, so let's create a filter here in the Spark AR Studio where everything is black and white except one color. So to do this, we have to do a few steps. The first step is that we extract our camera texture from our camera object. To do this, go to the left hand side to your scene, click on the camera object, go to the right hand side and here click on texture extraction on the little plus next to it. So now you can find the camera texture zero in your assets panel. The next step is to create a material. So for this go to the assets panel, click on the plus and here just click on material. Now after the material is created and um, yeah I leave the name to material zero but then I just click on the material, go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. So now we go down to diffuse and here next to texture you can find a little arrow. Just click on it and you will find this yellow patch in your patch editor. The next step is that you drag and drop the camera texture from your assets panel into the patch editor. So now we have those two patches, but we need of course one patch in between those two and we can find this patch in the asset library. So for this we go to the left hand side and click here on this little folder icon which says asset library. Here we click on it and then we select patch assets and here we search for accept one color and you should be able to find this patch here the black and white except one yeah color patch and here just click on import free after the import is done you can close the ar library now you will find a new um, patch in your assets panel and now you just drag and drop this patch into your patch editor so now just connect the RGBA output of the camera texture with the texture input of this new patch and the output goes to the material diffuse texture output uh, input. So um, yeah, the output goes to the material zero diffuse texture input. So now nothing has changed because we need one last step. So for this we go to our scene, click on the plus and here we search for rectangle. Now we create this rectangle object and now you can see this um, yeah, little rectangle in the left upper corner. But of course we want to stretch it over the whole viewport. So for this we select the rectangle in our scene, go to the right hand side and here set the width by clicking into the field to fill width and also the height to fill height. Now we just go down to materials, click on the plus and here um, yeah, select this material. At first the black and white except one color patch is set to red so you can see that some red things will yeah, be the color but it's not really yeah, that much of red so when you go down to the patch editor you can find this threshold and also this smooth um, slider. I would recommend to set the smooth to 0.4 and here you can just play around with your threshold. When you hire the threshold you see more red tones will be affected of the for the effect. So yeah, now there is really much affected because the skin color also has some red tones in it. But yeah, just play around and find the correct settings. And also when you click here on color you can also change the color. For example, when I yeah, I can set this to to blue or yellow and then all the yellow tones are, um, yeah, will be colored. I have no yellow things here, but something blue. So I will set it to blue and then hit OK. And now you can see that this is not blue because it's not the right tone. Maybe cyan. Nope. But when we, yeah, the threshold, you see that it is a little bit blue. So yeah, I hope I could help you with this tutorial. I will set it back to red. So. I have this red book here, set down the threshold to let's say 0.2425 and yeah I think that's a pretty cool effect. Just play around with the patch and you will have a nice filter yeah, 
for your Instagram. So thanks for watching. If I could help you with this video, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.